Hello guys, this week I'm gonna share a video about vegan croissants. Okay, let's begin. First, here we have 375 gram of baker's flour and 125 gram of all-purpose flour, 22.5 gram fresh yeast, 10 gram of salt, and 70 gram of caster sugar, plus 235 gram of water. Here, as you can see, I'm using ice cold water. You might have asked what was the purpose of using an ice cold water. With the formulation that I state, we can simply control our water temperature, while room temperature and flower temperature is mostly out of our control. But even with flour, we can simply put into the fridge to cool it down before we mix it. But it wasn't practical to store flour. So one thing that we can control is our water temperature. So in final mixing, we can achieve what we call desired dough temperature. Then we are gonna put 62.5 gram vegan margarine. You can check the link where I show how to make vegan margarine. We are gonna keep mix till the gluten network is too strong and to test how to know our dough was into that state, simply pull a bit and stretch the dough to see if we can stretch the dough like a thinner membrane or in a bread making called window pane. After that, we are gonna wrap it and let it rest on the bench for 15 to 20 minutes. After the resting period is passed, we are gonna shape into a square shape and wrap the dough and continue to let the dough to slowly proving in cold temperature in fridge for one night for at least 12 hours. Next, we are gonna make our butter block. In this recipe, I'm using 250 grams of homemade vegan margarine. The process was quite straightforward and simple. For the butter block size, I didn't measure it. What I'm doing is just make a rectangle shape and make sure we roll it as even as we can and then wrap again, chill in the fridge for later use. The next day, we'll continue to next step which is laminated. Things to note, I doing this croissant video few months ago when here was winter and in the early morning, for me personally was the best time period as the room temperature was cold and suit for doing hand laminated. First, we are gonna roll our dough like butter block size. Then we are gonna put our butter block in the middle. As we doing croissant in home environment, if you are living in humid and hot area, I can say from my experience that change to pull a beautiful interior honeycomb was quite hard as when we roll out the dough the dough temperatures was rising and when the internal dough was warm the yeast was activated and continue proving as we know rolling create a friction and there is another chance that the butter was leaked and blended into the dough in my personal experience and opinion when we choose to do a hand laminated the best room temperature was 20 to 21 that's why I'm doing this in the winter time to avoid what possibility that could happen when it's come to hand laminated. For this croissant, I choose one single fold and one double fold.
after that we are gonna roll up the dough to 40 by 25 and portion it by 8 cm for every single croissant When we finish shape our croissant, we are gonna continue into final fermentation process. And not to remember, when we are doing final fermentation, ideally the room or the chamber temperature wasn't exceed 28 degrees Celsius. Or in winter time like when I'm doing this, I just put into the oven and turn the oven lights on. Then we are gonna preheat our oven to 210 degrees Celsius. And once we put in, drop the temperature slightly to 200 degrees Celsius. Since every oven was different, you are need to adjust slightly based on your own oven. That's it for today. The video was quite long. And please keep in mind that to make a successful and beautiful croissant, we had to practice over and over to mastering this. And if you like more about vegan baking content, I would like to ask you guys please give a subscribe, like and share to your vegan community about my channel. And I will keep continuing share another vegan recipe. Thank you and I will see you next week.